Southeast Ohio's lakefront communities say Lake Erie is swallowing their shoreline and the lake's water levels are breaking records once again. Yeah, according to new numbers from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the lake hit another record high today and this trend is only expected to continue well into June, even July. Officials in Geneva on the lake say that erosion is hitting their community especially hard. As News 5's Olivia Fecto tells us, they fear the village is close to becoming Geneva in the lake. Over the last week or so, about 35 feet of shoreline has disappeared from Township Park, gobbled up by Lake Erie. It's a beautiful place to live. I look out my window and obviously I see the lake. Rich Finney lives just across the road from Township Park in Geneva on the lake. A few years ago, he could take his grandson to the park's sandy beach. It was nicer when we could come over here and swim. But that's not an option anymore. Thanks to erosion, that beach is gone. It's sad, it's going in a hurry. And so is a lot of the shoreline. And we just noticed that it's getting worse and worse and worse. You know, you can't mess with Mother Nature. Mayor Dwayne Bennett says the village has tried to address this issue for a few years now, but the erosion has never been this drastic. Normal erosion for this area is about three to four feet a year. You know, honestly, there's a lot of shock. I think people knew it was a problem, but like once you come down here and look at it, it's really quite devastating. Now, erosion has accelerated dramatically. The village says it's lost 15 feet of shoreline in just the last couple days. The mayor believes that's partly due to high water levels and the lake not freezing this year. We just hate to see it get to a point where it's not usable. There are also concerns about the village's infrastructure, roads, sewers, storm drains and the fate of lakefront properties. Initial plans to shore up the area and revitalize the beach have been scrapped. Now we're literally just looking at funding to save what we have at this point. But that doesn't come cheap. It just keeps compounding. It's uh, 1.3 million was the last estimate. However, it's way over that because that's before we lost 35 feet. We lost another eight foot in yeah. one night. In one night. Yeah, yeah it doesn't take long. Leaders hope voters will approve a levy in the March primary. That would allow for some immediate funding as well as the chance to apply for matching federal or state grants. We'd like to, you know, do some type of retaining wall and some type of uh, retention for the water to make sure so we can shore it up. Making sure this park and the village itself don't lose what can't be replaced. So far, I don't think it's People are staying home because of this, but who knows what could happen in the future. The village administrator says a congressional representative is coming to check out the problem Tuesday, with ODNR coming later this week. In Geneva on the Lake, Olivia Fecto, News 5.